Okay, <clears throat> the corner module. Again, because this will be in the corner, it'll be a little bit difficult to reach. I'm building this up at the moment. So, there will eventually be a road here, tracks, a level crossing with booms here and here. The road will go out in a T. There'll be a sugar plant eventually here and some more tracks. And I'm just adding a little bit of relief because the background <coughs> will be uh, basically be rolling uh, rolling hills. Uh, well, not really hills, just rolling landscape of uh, the southern area of the Netherlands. I've got this. So the back scene will be uh, hardboard and then this will slot in here, going around the corner. And I'll have uh, pictures of Limburg, the Limburg area, which is somewhat rolling, a uh, rolling landscape. That's the idea behind this, with some uh, lights, of course, dotted around in this area. <coughs> Underneath there'll be the uh, servo drive to operate the gates and then the tracks uh, can be laid. I'm playing a little bit by ear, I'm just moving along. I'm going to start painting this brown now to show sort of a cutting and taking it piece by piece. I don't really have much of a, much of a set plan yet. I'm just going to see how it develops. A little further along, some days later, a little bit of relief. This was a bit of a mistake, really, but we'll leave it in. Nice feature. Here we'll have the crossing. Now, the thing I'm trying to do now is to um, <coughs> work in a back scene. So. <clears throat> I use all my back scenes, I <clears throat> use Google <clears throat> Google images to find images of sort of back scenes you can find in almost anything you want on Google. So the idea here is now the road will continue off here and <clears throat> these Scenic reliefs should help integrate into the uh, into the background. This will slide around for the corner piece like that, and then we'll have the hardboard going off on the sides. That's the idea. Um, here 
uh, I am installing uh, the feedbacks for the uh, for the main line. Um, these are very simple in uh, Marklin or in three rail. You just cut a rail on one side in uh, two places to leave a, an isolated piece in the middle and attach a wire to that. Uh, then hook that back to the to the feedback sensors. And then you have uh, anywhere on the, on the line, you have a detection of uh, every axle that uh, passes across. So basically have a, uh, have a detector at the beginning of a block and one at the near the end of the block where you want the, the train uh, to stop. Um, so I'm attaching uh, all those uh, here and then putting them back in place. And that'll then be ready for uh, for the automation of the main line. Uh, here I'm uh, just going to uh, finish up painting the uh, base for the road of the of the crossing here, including the pieces between the rails. Um, being a three rail system, uh, I will have to put a little <coughs> wire across the uh, mill there for the uh, for the pickups. But we'll see that later. I actually used the camera here, got a close-up and saw some little pieces there on the side of the rails that need patching up. So I uh, went and uh, did some patching up. That's where the uh, middle little bit of wire will need to go across for the pickup of the, uh, the locomotives. And then finally uh, checking the, the back scene and the color of the road going into the distance there needs to be touched up to get about the same color as the road on the on the layout. And, uh, and that's uh, that's what I'm doing here. <laughs> 